Hey everyone, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love reading, Virgos, for the month of January 2022. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy Holidays. Okay, so if you would like to get a personal reading, the uh, link in the description box below this video will have the link to book your reading. Um, Remember, this is a general reading, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And this channel is for Virgos, Virgos only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? All right, so do make sure to join my membership. When you become a member, you'll receive unlimited personal mini readings in the chat. If you join and you can, you'll, members only can have access to the chat, okay? All right, you guys, let's get a look here. Um, we're going to take a look at your person's energy versus your energy. See what will be playing out in your love lives for January 2022. Okay. All right, your person here, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, worth waiting for. Okay, so this person over here on the left, the other person, it's weird. I feel like we just got those cards in the last reading. Somebody here is exploring how they feel. This person wants to try to make something work with you, wants to work on this partnership, <clears throat> um, but is taking their time, is waiting to see how things will turn out or um, it's divine timing is what I feel. They do feel that you are worth waiting for. This person, well, it feels like you know, there's codependency here. So this person, I don't see whomever they are. I don't see this person giving up um, ever, 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 ever. Let's take a look at your energy. Situation is calling for you to have faith, wedding. But you are paying attention to some red flags here. And, okay, you're conflicted, Virgo. You're totally conflicted. It's like you want to trust this person. You do want to have something with them, like a committed partnership, wedding, what have you. But you're seeing all these red flags. And I feel like in January, you're kind of like on two sides of a fence is what I feel. There's something here in your heart or in your mind about this person where you want to be able to trust them. You're trying to trust them. You do want to have something progress, but there's red flags and you're kind of like, well, maybe I should just forget this and free yourself. Meanwhile, this person is coming at you with wanting to work on it, but there's manipulation attached to this person because of the codependency. I feel like this person maybe manipulates the relationship to get what they want. And that might be the red flags that you see okay for some of you now i just want to take a look and see what else is going on with this person and then you okay okay yeah divine timing this person is not going to leave i don't feel that they're gonna try to end something here with you i feel okay so we have sagittarius and we have leo energy I feel that this person wants to have a successful outcome. I f it feels like they are stuck on you, yet they're stuck in like this addictive way. Then with codependency comes a sense of can be very manipulative energy. And Virgo, I do feel like you pick up on that. This is a this is a difficult reading. Okay. I mean, they will surrender. They, This person will give and do whatever needs to be done. If you tell them, cut your hair, they'll cut their hair. If you tell them, make this lifestyle change, take action, they will. But they're, it's all being done because they're addicted to you and they can't face abandonment or they can't face leaving. I know this is going to sound strange, but Virgo, this person seems to be extremely easy to manipulate. And you're not. You're conflicted. You're, I feel like in January, are going to see 
things about this person where it's like okay are you with me because of because you love me or are you with me because you can't let go and you refuse to let go or you are fearful that i'm going to leave he's the sword so virgo i feel like this person like whatever it takes for you to not abandon them or for, to, for you to not leave them. And they may come in with, you know, hey, I want to work on this relationship. I want to try to fix it. Let's get married. Let's do all this. You can trust me. And Virgo's like, I don't know. I don't know. These are, you're, you're speaking my language, but I don't know. There's some red flags. Okay. <laughs> Okay, three of cups energy. So 100%, like, I want to give you my support, this person towards you. Let's just have fun. Let's be together. Let's be friends and lovers. You know, let's reunite. Let's, let's do this. Let's do that. I feel, you know, <laughs> that they are just trying to not lose you and whatever it takes. And they may say whatever they need to say so that you don't leave or that you don't give up on them but it's coming from their codependency and they'll wait this person will wait for you forever virgo whatever it is you tell them they'll take the risk they'll take the leap of faith Okay, communication. So I see this person, you offer their love, they'll accept it, they'll send their love back. It's like a very pliable energy with this person. You know, I don't know if this is someone that you're currently dealing with, if this is a twin flame, karmic kind of thing. This could be somebody that you meet, you know, a potential new lover that you meet where it's the same energy. It's the same message. Because Virgo, what it seems like you want is, you know, you want some kind of sacred bond or union with someone, or at least with anybody. And you got someone coming in here, like p practically throwing themselves at you. But that codependency, that's the red flag. Because there's manipulation behind that. Is it love? No. No. I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's more like need, clingy type of behavior. I will love you, so you will love me back. So you won't leave me, so you won't abandon me. It's deep insecurity. Let me take a look at you here. Well, you have the tower. You're like, I'm gonna burn this effort down and move on and keep it moving here. Okay, we have Scorpio energy, Aquarius, Le uh, I said Leo, there's Taurus. Look at you, you've got the Five of Swords. Oh my gosh, you have the Tower, the Five of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> this is uh, Virgo, you're kind of like, things are about to change. Or I'm not going back into any kind of relationship with anybody old or new who only wants to be with me because or is trying to manipulate the love out of me what a way to start the year but it's a good way to start the year virgo because it means that you are seeing all the red flags maybe in a past thing or someone you're currently with or in new it's like you're able to call it now whereas before you just got lulled to sleep you're able to look at it and you can sense it and you're trusting your intuition Virgo, I think you're going to try to just start the new new year off on your own. Single as a Pringle. Nine of Pentacles. Doing your own thing. Making your own money. Buying your new home. Buying another home. Uh, new cars. Starting off fresh and clean. And opening yourself up to freeing yourself. To meet somebody who isn't trying to like manipulate you or coerce you to stay with them out of guilt. Wow. Look at that. Seven of Swords. Some of you are taking off. You're just running away. You're like, oh, I see red flags. Er, turn left. I'm out of here. Taking off. Like the smoke that comes, 
you know, when you run and you get this, leaving the dust behind. Some of you are doing that. You're sensing, you're like sniffing out deceit. Okay. You're looking for a golden opportunity and some of you, this person is presenting themselves as the golden opportunity, but I don't know. You guys are kind of like, like I said in the beginning, you're on the fence. You're like, you know, you're speaking my language. I know money talks, I get it, but I don't trust this. I am not trusting this. For the first time, okay, we have a king of swords here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. For the first time, Virgo, you're listening to yourself. You're starting off the new year doing what's best for you. Trusting yourself, not doubting when you get those energetic vibes from people. Now you're in this position where, yeah, I want love, but I don't need it. And if somebody's coming in and I can sense, I can, I can smell the snake vibes off them, like I'm, I'm sniffing them now. Some of you are like I'm sniffing them now, right? And you're saying, "Whoa, back it up, hold on." <laughs> I think for some of you before it was like, "Oh, willy nilly, yeah, you love me, okay, we'll do this." Not all of you. Don't take offense, but some of you let your <clears throat> heartstrings be tugged. <clears throat> some of you allowed yourself to be lulled to sleep because you. Uh, I don't know if you were in a position of need to have love or this person just comes in, you know, telling you what you want to hear. But you're, you sniff a rat. You're sniffing a rat. And it's good. It, it feels like for you, you're really getting in touch with your intuition, your emotions, your feelings. For some, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer. But you're really getting in touch with your deepest feelings, like your intuition. You're saying to yourself, okay, I see that what's best for you, you think is what's best for me, but maybe I should be the one to make the decision of what's best for me, not you. Just because you want me doesn't mean that's best for me. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like you've got some kind of thing going on right now where you are standing up for yourself and you're paying attention now versus before maybe you weren't. Or you got yourself into something at some point where you weren't you weren't with this person because it was what you wanted. It was because they made you seem like that's what was best for you or what you wanted. Okay, let's see what the outcome is going to be. Because what I feel right now is you got somebody here coming back or coming in. Try to sell you a car that you don't need. <laughs> They're selling it to you because they need it from you. They need the payout. They need the money. Uh, figuratively speaking. All right, let's take a look here. Okay. Let's see the outcome. What's the outcome going to be for you, Virgo? Virgo's outcome with this situation. Okay, Virgo. Yep, you're going to burn this. You're burning the roof. You're burning this house down and moving on. You're not staying for anything that... <laughs> that you sense there's a, that you sniff a rat around. You're not settling for that. You're not going to allow yourself to be in a position. You're, you're just, you're taking off. You're making that transition. If that means relocating or moving or mo getting away or, or mentally relocating your mind out of something or, you know, there's, there's, this is like necessary change. Okay. This is basically like, this is a transition you're going through. And I feel like you might be physically leaving a home that you shared with someone, or you might be deciding to move and start your life over new, manifest a new start in your life. Um, 
you might come to terms with this person. Maybe they only wanted you for SEX, okay? Or that's why they were coming back in. You know, it, and and it may it may not be why they're coming back in, but it may be that because they do want that, because you sense there's something off and they're not really, you, you, how can I say this? It's like your intuition is just so strong that you can sense that this person is full of shit or that they're fake. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're you're going to be like hyper focused in January. You know what I mean? Like x-ray vision, the ability to see things and places and see right through the clouds, not the action of cutting through the clouds, but being able to see through it. Now, um, you're free, Virgo, you're free. You're no longer trapped because your mind has changed your viewpoint has changed. You're no longer in a position of being a victim or sitting in a an acceptance stage that this is all it's going to be. Once your viewpoint and your mind shifts and changes, that's when you're free. That's the only way you free yourself from old thinking patterns is to think differently, to see it differently and to believe it differently. I know a lot of you are like, you can't stop thinking about somebody, you know it wasn't a good relationship or it was toxic, but why you can't stop thinking about them? And I, I receive a lot of calls like that and it's because your, your thoughts are still focused in those old patterns in that old way with another person. You have to start seeing it differently. Once you start seeing it differently, you'll start believing it. That's what's tripped you up for so long. Yeah, that's that heavy burden that you've carried around. In January, I feel like you come to the end of that, you know, and then you look back on how far you've come in your life, how much you've had this therapeutic change, this spiritual change, this ability and power to trust yourself and you trust your intuition. And with the Wheel of Fortune throughout this whole year, Everything works out in your favor because of this one decision to not entertain snakes or a snake or snakes in your life. That's when things begin working out for you. The minute you just say no, you have avoid you avoid a whole new year of heartbreak with a, people who waste your time or people who don't truly have your best interest at heart they tell you it's in your best interest to be with them but it's really in theirs because they're selfish and they're just thinking about themselves anyone who truly loves you will be happy if you make a decision if you make a decision to leave them anyone who truly loves you will tell you i just want you to be happy and even if that means it's not with me this person refuses to let you be happy without them so you're going to hear from them and you're going to have a big wake up test of faith here to figure out what you're going to do. Okay. A lot of you are going to spend a lot of time with friends and family, sisters, brothers. Okay. And you're going to keep these secrets, this stuff that you've learned, that these, this intuitive, these intuitive powers that you gain you're going i see you just keeping that hush hush no more telling people what you're up to what your plans are now you're the master of love you're the master you've mastered yourself virgo and i feel like that's a really important message that is something that you've needed to do for a long time because people were selling you these love potions and you were buying them and they weren't working. Now you're like, now when someone tries to sell you a love potion, you're like, wait, let me look at these ingredients. Hold on a minute. You want, you want me to pay how much for this? Wait, let me see if this is even worth it. Now you're checking. 
And let me just get my magnifying glass because I really need to see if what you're offering is like, let me read the fine print. Do you come with fine print? Because I need to see the fine print. I'm not just putting my name on something until I see the fine print. <laughs> so Virgo, you're just like, good for you. Not, no longer getting sold by a, a snake oil, oil charmer. <laughs> you're burning that bridge there. And all of those that come forward. Does that mean you're walking around and you're just sniffing everybody out? I mean, are you vetting people? I hope so. Are you taking your time getting to know someone? Because people don't reveal themselves in the beginning. The true colors show up later. And usually... It's too late because then you've created a physical soul tie with someone at that point too soon. And then you find out later they're a, a, they're a snake. And then by that time, it's almost impossible to get away from them because you've given yourself, you've given everything over, you've invested, you got your hopes up. You, you got yourself in a position where, oh yeah, they told me this, and so I believed it. You're too trusting, too soon. Not everybody's gonna come at you like that, but you should always protect your heart. You should always be guarding your heart. It's the most precious thing you have. I was just thinking, you know, the heart's in the chest behind the ribs as long uh, with the lungs. So they're guarded by the rib cage, but the rib cage is not completely sealed. It needs room to expand. Your heart always should be protected, but always have enough room to expand. Same with your breathing and your lungs. They should always be protected, but there should be enough room for expanding. The heart cannot pump and expand if it's too tight of a locked cage. Your brain is in a hard locked cage because, <laughs> come on now, <laughs> you don't want anybody coming in here and hijacking your brain, right? You have to have protection over your heart to some degree, but not so much that you suffocate it. Just enough so that it can still grow and breathe and pump. Just enough expansion there. Okay, one person was giving too much in this relationship. I feel like it's the other person. They're going to be overgiving because they got to have you. They have to have you in their life. They can't, they can't afford to lose you because they, they, I don't know what the deal is with your person. Like if there's psychological issues going on or they're just plain old, uh, if the codependency card wasn't there, which it's a card of addictions, if that card wasn't there, I feel like I would be more inclined to say this person is really crazy about you for all the right reasons. But I don't feel that way. And I feel like the start of the new year, you're going to be making a decision here. And I feel like the decision is that you're going to say no to things that are not good. And you may even apologize to this person and say, I'm sorry, that's just not in my best interest. I mean, I don't even know if this message is going to resonate for all of you listening. It might only be like 2% of you, you know? Um, I feel like this person is going to try to apologize to you. But you, Virgo, how can you tell the difference between someone who is just giving you lip service someone who really means what they're saying to back it up time time is the only thing that will prove uh, if somebody's going to back up what they say you have to allow that space and time for them to prove it and if that's something you need to do at this time that may be what you need to do some of you are just like flipping somebody the finger and saying nope I'm out of here but if you're going to stay and you're going to let this person snake you, then you got to allow time for them to prove that they're going to follow through with what they say. Otherwise, keep it moving, Virgo. Don't start the new year off with the same shit repeating. No, no, no. Yep, this is a twin flame. 
release your twin flame <laughs> it's karmic and it's painful radical surrender for the majority of you you got to release this twin flame you do probably because it's karmic or it's just not time this person has not fully ascended they haven't healed whatever's going on within them why they need to you know someone holding on to you because of their own fears and insecurities that's not them loving you that's them that's that's someone who if they're drowning and there's straws floating on the top of the water they'll grasp at those straws just to survive and drowning people will grasp at another person in the water and push them down under just so they can keep breathing and you got to know that going in life is tough you know life is not a bowl of cherries it can be but you got to be guarded and you got to know it's the exception to the rule you know this twin flame relationship feels to me like even though it's divine this person needs to be coming at you and towards you like i say with their leg cut off and willing to limp for you for the rest of their life and you be willing to do that for them because love is about sacrifice and vulnerability okay i feel like this person i'm going to keep it straight with you virgo this person will long for you forever you are always going to be someone i don't know it's they're addicted to you tremendously they're addicted to your love this person i feel when they can't have you they're sick they're like nauseous they throw up they can't eat they can't sleep they cannot lose you they will not lose you and they will pull out all the stops but it is because not because of love they haven't ascended it's because of fear you know because we live our lives either coming from a place of love or coming from a place of fear where do you stand virgo it's either one or the other where do you come from everything that you do in your day is it from love or is it from fear and this person where do they come from with you love or fear you have to trust your intuition virgo the answer lies deep within you trust spirit wait for answers to be revealed to you your intuition virgo i'm giving you this reading some of you know who i'm talking about your intuition 100 percent has already been telling you what you need to do and i'm just here backing it up for those of you who feel like you have to go you've just been waiting for someone to give you the, the green light that this person if this was someone you're currently involved with or you've been dealing with will never give you the green light to go never they'll never break up with you they'll never say no they'll never say goodbye if anything they'll just leave you hanging and leave you in wait they'll say well you're worth waiting for therefore they put you in a position of waiting for them because they can't commit because they're they have the addiction but that part that role is being played out in their need for you and it's convenient when they're feeling that longing and you're not there that's when they're there but when they've gotten their full or their fill then it feels like that's when they don't need you and they'll wait until it's time for them to come back in okay you have victory recognition applause well your your intuition for some of you is telling you to be you need to be recognized for who you are okay and you need to be in a position of victory for yourself you are your biggest champion virgo nobody else usually in life is n very few people are going to go up to bat for you virgo you're the only one who's going to have your back from day one to the very last day other people yeah they're going to be there and they're going to try to help you and they'll you know they'll do their best but people people tend to themselves first always <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and it's not because they're always selfish it's it's because 
what do we say on here? Love yourself first. A lot of people do that. It doesn't make them selfish if the word was to mean they're mean. It just means that, wait, I got to get my needs met. A lot of people are doing that, Virgo. But you need to start doing that. And you need to start implementing that, Virgo, for this 2022, for this new year. And it's okay. I'm giving you permission. You can do it. Okay. Some of you have a financial decision that you're going to need to make in the new year. It's a big one. It's going to come up. It's going to be laid upon you at the table, contracts to sign. You're going to have to sign something. A big decision this year is coming up. I'm not sure what it's going to be but it's coming for you. You are going to get recognition. All right, message from an admirer. That's when I, I feel, Virgo, that, um, yeah, you're going to be hearing from somebody. Okay, it could be, like like I said, for some of you, this could be totally somebody new. Okay, for those of you where you know the past, I mean, your past is so dead. It's like, it's buried so deep in the ground. There's no way it's coming back to life. This could be somebody new coming in you but that's what i'm talking about it's a test of faith is what i feel to see if you're going to get yourself you're going to leap from the frying pan into the fire again are you going to do it again Virgo? what have you learned what lessons have you learned okay okay so struggle challenge competition arguments and separation okay you're just being tested, Virgo. Don't jump the gun because it's 2022. It's the new year. Don't jump the gun when you meet someone. And you're like, oh, finally, it's the new year. Therefore, no, take it slow. Get to know people. Don't jump the gun just because somebody new comes into your life. This is a test. And you have the courage and the strength. You'll be able to withstand a test that comes to you. Because you've learned Okay, and once you get that test and you see what's going on, when you can step away from this and not be emotionally attached to this, then you're going to be able to make this change and move forward in this new year. Blockages are being removed here that you've been holding on to. Oh, look at you taking charge of your, for some, your divine masculine energy. You could have a father figure guiding you. An influential male could be supporting you, head of household. Some of you might be getting a divorce, or you're leaving, and you're going to be like the head of the household in your household, right? Master of your domain. <laughs> Some of you, yeah, that's going to happen. But you're also going to have peace. And for some of you, that's what you need. You just want peace. You want to raise your kids, your grandkids, you want to help your family, you want to be in charge of your destiny. Some of you just want to be single as a Pringle and doing your own thing. Okay, and I see you putting in that effort to make these things happen. You got a new passionate start coming for you in your life. And then a love offer from a lustful, fiery spirit. Okay, be careful. This is that love offer coming in from that person. Notice the word lustful. They're soul tie makers. This is a soul tie maker. Be careful. Now, if you're someone that can have physical intimacy with someone and you can get out of the bed the next day and say, yep, see ya, and it doesn't have any effect on you and you're a cold-hearted snake, go ahead, do what you got to do. Okay, but for those of you who just can't bring yourself and you catch feelings and all that, be very careful because lust is heroin and it's very, very addictive. Just be careful. That's all I'm trying to say. And there may be someone who comes back or someone new who's here that gets you in that particular way, Virgo, where you just one glance at them and you're like, Phew. You need a cold shower. <clears throat> but just remember, people who come in, when relationships start off that way, <clears throat> maybe like 80% of the time they end up bad. Because the only thing, you know, when that lust is gone, the two of you are sitting next to each other like, hmm, I don't think we even have anything in common. What do we have in common? Are we even compatible? We're compatible in bed. 
chemistry is there, the lust is there, but wait, can this sustain for the long term? Probably not. And if you guys have been in and out of each other's life, if it's a past thing, the only reason y'all kept coming back to each other was because of the passion and the lust. But if you took that away, uh, I don't know. What do you have in common? Is this your soulmate, your best friend? Is this person going to be here for you, cut off their leg and limp for you the rest of their life? That's going to be a new um, quote on my merchandise. It has to be. It just has to be. <laughs> oh, gosh, Virgo. I feel like you're going to start this new year, 2022. Start it right. Start it off on the right foot, Virgo. Don't let this past shit haunt you into the new year. Turn the page. You got a blank slate now. Be patient. Wait for the right person to come into your life. Don't rush it. <clears throat> and don't make the same mistakes you made in the past. If you haven't healed from a past relationship and you haven't learned the lesson yet, you need more time and you need to say no to people. The right one will wait for you. The right one and you'll feel it. You'll know that it's coming from their heart and not from their ego. Because sometimes it looks the same. Sometimes somebody coming back out of ego looks exactly the same as someone coming back out of heart. And the only way you can tell is by time. Letting time, letting them show themselves, prove themselves. Anybody who's coming back out of ego, <clears throat> they won't last. They can't stand the test of time. I don't care if they're a Scorpio and they've got patience of freaking a corpse. They cannot last the test of time. But someone who's truly coming in out of heart and loves you and there's something there and they want, they will show you and you can make them wait for years because <laughs> that love doesn't ever die and that starts growing. You know, that's what they say. True love never dies. Of course, you don't ever want to tell somebody how much time you're going to give because then people are like, oh, yeah, I got three months. I can just kind of dance around for three months and then I'll come in and hit it and quit it. <laughs> what do I got to like teach you guys? What the fuck? All right. So let's take a look and see what other messages are here for you. Okay. The need to bring balance and fun into your life. Some of you will be juggling multiple options. Okay. Somebody here is 29. Protect, Virgo, what you have created. Be prepared. Don't give up. Ask your angels for help. Okay. Stand your ground. Hold your vision. Hold your ground. Trust the process, Virgo. And release, okay? Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. There's a spiritual transformation going on here. Picking up a lot of A's, A's initial A, R, and a Z. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or the letters. Okay, learn all you can about a subject or a career, Virgo. Some of you going back to school this year, taking a seminar, finding a mentor, okay, doing something that you love to do. Somebody's born in 1988, okay, I've got the letter G, I have a J, um, I just heard they said jelly. Jelly or jam? Jelly or jam? Some of you went through a real difficult thing in 2020. <clears throat> the year 2020. Okay. A lot of you are psychic. I don't know. Do you, do you read tarot cards? Do you have your own channel? You have deep psychic insights. 
There's an energy here. Here's the lesson here. Virgo, some of you have a tendency to care for others, but forget to take care of yourself. Or you just put yourself on the back burner on purpose so that other people can be okay. You, you, the only people you need to do that for are your children or your grandchildren. <laughs> right? Technically. Your unconditional love for them. Everybody else has got to wait. Because if mama ain't happy, if papa ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Right? Your children need you. If you have children, your grandchildren, your adopted children, or those you care for. If they're under 18, you know. I mean, of course, you can still care for yourself. But don't forget about you, Virgo, in this year. Don't forget about you. Okay. Okay. They just gave me the name Minnie or Manuela or M it's or me, me, me or me. Um, some of you are like, to hell with this shit. I'm not waiting for anyone to buy me a ring. I'll purchase my own damn ring. I'll purchase my own jewelry. <laughs> And so, you know, males too, you're going out and buying your own. You see your value. You, some of you are going to be in this position 2022 and you can, you, uh, if, if you're, if you haven't been able to in the past, I feel like you're going to be able to afford nice things going forward. Okay. Some of you are going to be giving to charity. Like you're going to have, um, I see long-term security here for you financially, okay? I feel like you're going to be really managing your money well this year. Um, be careful that you don't spend too, too much, okay? Or that you're not too, too greedy, right? Don't put yourself in a poverty position um, or bankrupt yourself. Be careful you don't get taken by a con artist when it comes to buying valuables. Make sure that they're legit. Somebody might try to sell you like, uh, you know, cubic zirconia and tell you it's a diamond. I'm using that as an example, okay? Be very careful. Um, I also see two females or two males older friends maybe um, supporting you or family members um, I also see you going to the movies with these friends in January especially or riding on a bus together or taking a trip somewhere maybe to a beach okay I heard the name Meg. Oh, and somebody's... Okay. Now they're just saying the, the word meh. M-E-H. You know, you text it or something. Somebody says something. And then you're like, meh. M-E-H. I don't know if somebody uses that or says that, like, all the time. Um, <laughs> somebody's watching or really loves Keanu Reeves or the Matrix movies. Maybe you're watching it, or you'll be watching it in January. Uh -huh. Mel. Okay. Whew. Man, I keep getting this energy here. So have faith, the future is bright they're saying all the things that you're wishing for Virgo like 2022 you're manifesting these things are going to come for you positive changes are going to bring an end to challenging times and that's also your mindset positive changes in your mindset will slice off and kill those negative things okay those challenges that you have just thinking positively will do that if we just think positively and when there's a situation that's negative, we just turn it around and think of all the positives out of this. It's truly the only way to maintain is to just think happy thoughts. 
the more you think that, right, the more of a habit it becomes, and then the more of a default it becomes. If you're someone that has a struggle with that, right? I know some of you don't, but some of you might have a struggle with that energy. And I feel like um, if that's the case, it, I mean, it's, it's practice. Don't think you're going to just think one happy thought and then everything's going to be okay. You have to implement that as a practice like meditation to meditate. Okay. Um, and I just heard somebody's going to be wearing like a faux fur coat. A faux fur coat. Oh, and uh, there's something to do with a stopwatch. An old stopwatch, I guess. Just I wanted to get adjustments are required. Okay, the third quarter moon. Adjustments are going to be required. I feel like that's what I was just talking about with the stuff that you're, the changes that you're going through and the changes in your thought process, the changes in your mind, your think tank. Um, I feel like you're, you're, you're going through it. And I feel like you're starting off this new year with so much knowledge and the, the spiritual lessons that you've learned. Um, I just feel like you've mastered or you're mastering so much and you're like you're able to call it before it happens. That's what I feel. You know, it's like self-awareness where, you know, somebody comes at you and you just trust in your instinct and your vibe. You're just running on, on instincts and vibes and intuition in 2022. And rather than premeditated thoughts or expectations or fear, you're just on this like, hey, if I'm not feeling it, then it's not going to happen, right? Especially in your relationships. If I'm getting bad, bad vibes, I'm paying attention to them. And they're going to come, you'll feel them in your body as well. Let's see what your charms are. Okay. So you have tennis rackets with a tennis ball. All right, that must be significant to somebody, or somebody's using snowshoes. But you also have a hatchet, okay? So there's definitely an energy here of, like, cutting it, cutting down, you're cutting down trees, Virgo. These trees that have been around for such a long time, and you can find other ways to make use of them. You're chopping them down. You know, they've been growing, they've been there, they've been taking up space. You know, whether you're literally doing that, <clears throat> maybe you work on a farm or you're chopping wood or or it's figuratively that you're just cutting away all this dead wood out of your life you also have an angel wing <clears throat> okay also somebody okay that's weird that's the first time i ever saw that but they just screamed out at me some of you are getting a new wig or your purchase you're going to be wearing a long wig it may have for some, there could be dreads or braids in it, um, but it's a full head. It's like, um, you know, from the edges all the way down your back, or somewhat down your back. I'm seeing a wig. Or you're maybe going to start thinking about it, or maybe you already wear one. Okay. Oh. You're getting all the hair on your head and you're trimming your pink kitty. That's what I just heard and I'm not saying any more about that. Okay. <laughs> or some of you need to get into the bathroom and, or get that wax done thing. Come on now. Okay, we've got a cactus. All right. Um, so somebody lives near where there's cacti. Okay, somewhere in the world. And also this is weird. A black rocking horse. Very strange. That that feels like a very rebel. It's black. I don't think I've ever seen a black rocking horse. Um, it could be like um, a ride at a playground where it's black. Um, somebody has their kids on there or children on there. Or you're working out somewhere and you're around a playground and you see it. You see that. Okay, now we have a honeybee. That's so cute. Sweet as honey. Or somebody calls you honey or will be calling you honey. Or you call people honey, like, hey, honey. 
Okay, and now you have a squid. A squid. I think it's a squid. Yeah, it's gotta be. It looks like a squid. It's a squid. I don't know why there's a squid charm. Squid must mean something, and I'm not sure what it means. But I see, it looks like tentacles, and I'm not so sure squids have tentacles, do they? It could be an octopus. Maybe you like that kind of seafood, or somebody likes squid or seafood, uh, octopus or something. Okay, and now we have a wild horse. Oh, they just gave me that song. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Huh. That's the song your person's singing to you. Wild horses aren't going to drag them away from you. Listen, Virgo, don't think I'm kidding. I mean it. You've got somebody here who's never going to let you go. They are addicted to you. They are going to hold on to you. And if you tell them no, they're going to interpret it as no, not right now. Uh, Virgo, you could completely be done. This person could die and they'll be waiting for you still. <laughs> And I don't mean, I'm not predicting that. I'm just saying you could get married, Virgo, and like not see them for years and years and years. And they're, oh, where you been? I've been waiting here for you all this time. Like this person, I'm telling you, they are going to wait. I mean, for some of you, I know you like to hear that, but don't gaslight yourself because like I said, and when I'm picking up in this energy in this reading, and maybe you need a personal reading to get confirmation of this, but for some of you, this person's waiting has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. And I don't know. I don't find that to be endearing <laughs> for you Virgo but you take it however you like you have free will you can do whatever you want to do you do what feels right you know at the end of the day you don't have to leave a comment you don't have to let me know that hey I'm not listening to House of Virgo I'm making up my own mind you do whatever you got to do a lot of you are just like nope moving on I'm gonna keep it moving I'm not getting back into any kind of shit stain relationship I'm gonna stay single as a Pringle I ain't the fuckboy whisperer, point blank period. So we're going to leave it right there. That's for January. I hope that was helpful or you enjoyed that in some way. And um, I will be back very soon, hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe, well, actually this reading will be for January. I'm, I'm Sometimes it's, I forget that I'm making this video for January. Obviously it's starting from the time you hear it, going in through all of January. But as I'm making this, this is my last video, and then I'm going on vacation, so on holiday, Christmas vacation. So I'll see you guys sometime in January, um, the beginning, first week or so. So I love you guys. Have a wonderful holiday, a happy new year. Hope your January is lovely, and I will talk to you all very soon. Okay, bye. Take care.